So Pariksit Maharaj was hunting. He was very thirsty. He came to the ashram of one Sadhu Mahatma. So Pariksit Maharaj was very thirsty. So he asked the Sadhu, Oh, please tell. Please. Like, slowly. Brief. No, brief, no. Not fast. If you were telling fast, I could not understand. So your engines would go. <laughs> so, Supriksit Maharaj was very thirsty, so he approached that Mahatma, who that time was in deep meditation. So he asked, O oh Maharaj, I'm very thirsty, I can have some water. But that Sadhu was in very deep meditation, he could not hear the voice of Pariksit Maharaj. So Pariksit Maharaj became very angry. Because the common rules, what to speak of Vedic hospitality, any hospitality, even an enemy comes to your door, then you should welcome him. If you have no food to offer him, the least you can do is offer him a glass of water. So Pritchett Maharaj, under the influence of Yoga Maya, he became disturbed by the direct desire of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Because Sri Krishna wished that very soon, the Srimad Bhagavatam should be manifest in this world. So he directly inspired Pariksit Maharaj himself to become angry. Pariksit Maharaj became disgusted with the behavior of the Sadhu and said, oh, he was thinking, you are also envious like a snake. So next to that dead Mahatma was one snake. So Pariksit Maharaj took that snake with the end of his bow and put like a garland around the neck of that Sadhu. Is it true that... Parikshit Maharaj has given any boon to Kali that please give me some places to live and he first gave four and after that he told that oh it is not sufficient give me some more and then he told that you can be where there is will be gold in gold you can be. Yes. So is it true that when he was he went to Hunting. Hunting. Uh, hunting. Hunting. And he became tired and feeling thirst. And when he went to Rishi, then Kali came in his mukut, golden. Is that true? I never said that. Huh? I never heard this anymore. <laughs> because I have heard that uh, you can give up my classes and um, go to Sajia and other very good speakers in Vrindavan. I, I don't know who is telling you all these things. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you should tell us who is your source of information. <laughs> oh. Any wireless come to you? me? <laughs> no, never. <laughs> <laughs> don't go. Okay. <laughs> I said that the tuck snake, because he was angry with the Pandavas. Yeah, for last night you also said. What? Tataks, because his mother was Tataksha. What, what? Tataksha. What did Tak? What? 
Snake bird. <laughs> no. Dog chug. So he hid on the arrow of Arjuna last night, you said. Yes, you're sick. Now go. <laughs> Pandits of Vrindavan, follow our line. Okay. Only this was with the Krishna, and he sent Jogmaya to make this thing. Otherwise, no Bhagavatam. So this was the trick of Krishna, not the influence of Kali, because even he um, he uh, he took his. Gold, golden crown. Even there were so many necklaces of gold and ornaments of gold. They say like this. Oh, even Shagar. Oh, he has finished Git um, Bhagavatam. All his things that he has shown in Krishna Lila, all are wrong. Top to bottom. Who has produced? Produce? Oh. Oh. Mm. Ram Lila and Krishna. Ram Lila is somewhat better. Go on. Mama, Vishnu Pada.
Oh, no. 
have very good song. Topmost. Agyana Timirandasya Agyana Jana Salakaya Chakshurun Vilitanji Tasmai Sri Gurave Bancha Kalpataru Vyasya Kripa Sindhu Vacha Patitanam Bhavane Vyo Vaishna Devyo Namo Mahabhadandaya Krishna Prema Pradayate Krishna Ya Krishna Shaitana Namne Gaurat Shaitana Gurave Gaurat Chandraya Radhika Yantaraya Krishna Ya Krishna Bhaktaya Tadabhaktaya Yang Prabhijan Tamanupi Tamapi Tadritan Dai Payano Virakatarya Potre Titan Maitaya Tarvo Nedu Tang Sarababu Tai Dayan Haribo Hari Hari Tavai Vasmi Tavai Vasmi Najima Mutaya Vida Iti Pichyai Radhi Tangnay Maam Charna I humble obeisances in the Lord's feet of my Paramaradhyatam Guru Pātpadna Shri Shimad Bhakti Pragyan Ki Sahurushvami Maharaj And in the Lord's feet of my Shikshya Guru Om Vishnupat Nitya Lila Pravishta Sri Srimad Bhakti Vedan Pushpani Maharaj. Jai Jai Prabhupada. Now, you should come to, come with me in Vrindavan. Now, but be very careful. Very careful. Don't be mad. Always remember the gopi's word. Don't chant and remember that tricky Krishna. Never and never. <laughs> oh, we have realized him. How tricky and how he is black. But don't believe in Krishna. Or oh, you will be then what? Street beggar. Street beggar. Street beggar. And don't listen. To any saffron cloth sannyasi, <laughs> don't believe. Because he will take all your happiness, family, what? Money, money. Enjoyment <laughs> and sense gratification. You will be bitterly for that cheater. And your whole family will be for him. So, be careful. <laughs> and then we are coming. First we should come to Hastinapur or Dwarkapur. And there you know, you can know that though Krishna is supreme personality of Godhead, and up to Ajodhya, he was worshipable, upasya, param upasya. And up till now, all were worshipping him, Krishna, chanting him, remembering him, doing all these things. But now, you will see in, in Hastinapu or in the place of Pandavas, in the Prastha, that now he has changed himself. And what changed? Now he is not only Upasya, but serving his devotees. Sometimes he forgets to be Upasya. And what doing? Oh, serving. 
Oh, like here. If you go there, then you will see that Krishna is controlled by Pandavas, Yudhishthi, Bhim, Arjun, Nakul, Sadev, Draupadi, even Mother Kunti. Now, Kunti is worshipable of Krishna. Bhuvaji, Bhuvaji. Aunty, aunty. And when he comes from anywhere, Krishna Supreme Lord, he takes the feet dust of Mother Kunti. And he wants that, oh, you should always give me boons and your mercy. And to Draupadi what? Oh, my dear best beloved. So, like Yudhishthi Maharaj, what doing? Sometimes doing pranam, thinking that he is like my elder brother, like father. So here, if you want to test all these things, oh, you have to develop your Krishna consciousness. Asakti will do. You will have to attend what? Oh, Suddha, Sattva. Otherwise you cannot test. So, though this goal is far away, but we should make our goal of our life, these things, more than this, we will explain. I think you can, you have never heard all these things. <coughs> So my Siksha Guru and my Guru and my Guru Parampara told me, oh go and distribute and this is powerful injection. But don't take any money for them. Only cost that if they have love and affection for Guru, Vaishnava, <coughs> they should be provided, given. Otherwise not. So you should know that Pandava, uh, you should know the relation with Krishna Pandavas. Oh, can you can can you glorify something about Pandavas? <coughs> In brief. <coughs> Shri Gurudev ordered me to speak a few words in regard to the love of the Pandavas. Very carefully you should listen. And what Make kind of your own wealth, essence. What kind of love they have for Pandavas? And what kind of love Pandas also have, uh, Krishna has for them. Hmm? We know that once Narad Rishi, he came to the uh, palace of the Pandavas, and there he discovered that Arjun and Krishna they were sleeping. But how? Together on the same bed. Yesterday we we heard about the glories of Hanuman. He's a great devotee. He has so much praying. but. Oh, he can never sit on the same bed or the same seat as Ramchandra. Quite impossible. But here we see that Arjun and Krishna are lying together on the same bed. No, not enough. Arjun's head is in this end of the bed and his feet are this end. Krishna's head is this end and his feet are that end. And oh, in his sleep, Arjun is taking the feet of Krishna and holding them to his chest. And Krishna is also holding the feet of Arjun. And as Arjun is uh, dreaming, or oh, dreaming about Krishna, oh, then the sound Krishna, Krishna, Krishna is coming out from every pore of his body. When Narad Rishi saw this, he was amazed. How close they are, how intimate they are. And he began to dance and sing, oh, Arjun, Krishna, Arjun, Krishna, Arjun, Krishna. They can laugh and joke together. Some, you know, Katriyas, when warriors, they get together and they brag about their heroic deeds, how many damsels in distress they've saved, and things like this. So sometimes, when Krishna will exaggerate a little, 
then Arjun will say, Oh Krishna, what you have said is so true. Hmm? In a sarcastic tone. So their relationship is so intimate. Sometimes hmm, when Arjun is going on the battle of Kurukshetra, at that time Krishna becomes his chariot driver. Hmm? Driving his chariot. That means Arjun is telling him, Oh Krishna, take me here, take me there. And also Krishna, he can massage the legs of Arjun's horses even. And serve him in, in so many ways. So Krishna has become the servant of Arjun. Why? Because he's controlled by the love of Arjun. You know that Arjun and Krishna, they have so many intimate relationships together. For example, the, the mother of Arjun is Kunti Devi. And Arjun is the sister of Basudev Maharaj. The father of Dwokadish, Dwokadish Krishna. Also, you know that Krish, Arjun is married to Krishna's sister Subhadra. So they are related in this way. Once it happened that uh, Baldev Prabhu, he wanted to arrange the marriage of his sister Subhadra to Duryodhan because he has a very friendly relationship with Duryodhan. And everyone in the family, they could not agree. Hmm? Rohini Ma, Devaki Ma, Basudev, Krishna himself, oh, they did not agree, but Baldev is a very strong personality, so they were afraid to say anything. Hmm? Everyone was remaining quiet. Hmm? But Arjun, hmm, he had a desire to marry Subhadra, and Krishna also had this desire. So together they arranged a plan. Arjun, he dressed up as a sannyasi in saffron cloth and with Danda, and he came on the shore of the ocean, just outside the city of Dwarka. And at that time, all the residents of Dwarka, they were talking to each other. Oh, a very good, pure sannyasi has come. And if we go there and serve him, then our life will be auspicious. And all the residents of Dwarka, including Krishna, they were going there to that sannyasi and giving pranam. And he was giving blessing, Mangalam Baba to, to them. So at that time, Arjuna was sitting down and doing his meditation as a sannyasi. And he was meditating. Oh, my dear friend Krishna, please arrange that I can marry your sister. <laughs> this was his mantra. And at the same time, oh, Subhadra was in the city. And she was thinking, I don't want to be married to Duryodhan. So her sakis, all of her sakis came to her and they said, there's one sannyasi. And he can give benedictions. And by his blessing, your desire can be fulfilled. So she thought, very good. I'll go and take it. I'll pray. And he'll say, may your desire be fulfilled. What desire? That I should not marry Duryodhan? I can marry Arjun. So then all the sakis of the Subhadra, they dressed her oh, as if it was her wedding day. In very nice ornaments and cloth. And all together, they went outside the city uh, to meet with that sadhu. So she came there. And... There and then, when the chance was uh, ready, when the time was ripe, then Arjun, he took Subhadra and parked close by, Krishna kept one chariot. So then, they got onto the chariot and they began to mm, drive away. And at that time, Baldev Prabhu, he saw and he said, Oh, I'm going to kill him. And he took his club and he took his plow and he was running to kill Arjun. Then Krishna said, Stop, what are you doing? Why are you upset? Hmm? At the time when Samba went to the palace of Duryodhan to kidnap Lakshmana, he was caught and you went there and you fought and you brought them back. So that, this is okay for the Kshatriyas, this is their vidhi. They can steal away someone and that can be their bride. So he's not done anything against Dharma. So why did you become angry? Then Balde Prabhu said, oh now I understand. You never wanted this. You and Basudev and Devaki and Rohini and all. Huh? But you didn't say anything to me. Then Krishna told him, Oh, why are you being upset? You know that if you kill Arjun, then our sister will become a widow. So you should not do this. And you are saying that Arjun is stealing away Subhadra. But look, who's driving the chariot? Huh? You know that actually Subhadra, she was driving the chariot. And Arjun was facing the other way with his bow and arrow, ready to fight. So he said, who's kidnapping who? And in this way, he pacified Baldev Prabhu. <laughs> so, Krishna and Arjun, they're so close to each other. Hmm? We can understand that one weekend. After that, one weekend. Oh. So then, uh, Krishna, he became, oh, Arjun became Krishna's Bhagnipati. Bhagnipati means the husband of his sister. Oh, Baldev called. And with his own hand, 
I get married. <laughs> so Gurudev is saying that Krishna was so successful in pacifying Baldev Prabhu that Baldev called them and he performed the wedding ceremony himself. So it was very successful. So, thank you. Thank you. You know something? Can you glorify? Oh, something. <laughs> Ara bhakti tattva nugritya de shantam, mi bhakti pragyana sinanir na shantam, namo moha shoka pasidhanda andam, namo bhakti vedanda narayanam dam. So, Srila Gurudev has ordered me to speak something glorifying the Pandavas. We have heard so far about many different categories of devotees. We have heard about the Sakama Bhakta, Dhruva Maharaj. We have heard then about the Jnani Bhakta, Prahlad Maharaj. And then we have heard about the Shuddha Bhakta, Ambarish Maharaj, who is superior. And then we have heard about the Premi Bhakta, Hanuman. And how Hanuman is serving with so much love and affection. But still, there is some limit. Because he always observes Maryada. Maryada means etiquette. He cannot transgress these things uh, as Maharaj was saying, that he cannot sit on the same seat as his Prabhu, Ramachandra. Oh, he wants so much to embrace Lord Ram, but he cannot, because this would not be proper. He always is like this before Ram with folded hands, waiting to carry out his every order. But, oh, the Pandavas, they are always treating Krishna as if sometimes he is carrying out their orders. So this is a more intimate relationship, and with a very deep sense of possessiveness or mamata. So there is less restriction. Also, what is Arjuna's relationship? It is one of very deep, very intimate friendship with Krishna. So when Krishna revealed his universal form to Arjuna on the battlefield, why? Why did he do this? Because he wanted to show everyone who is, what is my identity? Because some materialistic persons, they may think, Oh, Krishna is an ordinary person. He is just the chariot driver of Arjuna. But for them only, he showed this universal form. And when Arjuna saw this, he was saying, Oh, Krishna, please forgive me. <laughs> only now I am saying, actually, that you are Bhagavan, you are unlimited Vishnu, that you have so many heads, so many faces, and you are destroying all of the Kauravas. Krishna said, Kalos me, I am time. I am the destroyer of all things. And except for you, Pandavas, everyone on this battlefield will be destroyed. And so Arjuna, he, be, he became quite astonished. Because otherwise he has no concept that Krishna is Bhagavan. Even the Pandavas, they are not thinking of Krishna as Bhagavan. Sometimes Kunti Devi will offer some prayers. Namase Purusham Tvadya Mishwara Prakate Param. Huh? But actually, her relationship with Krishna is quite affectionate. And she prefers to remember Krishna. She is remembering how Krishna is being chased by Mother Yashoda with a stick in her hand. And his eyes, tears are falling from his eyes and smearing his mascara. And he's looking so beautiful and very sweet. And he who is even feared by fear personified is running in fear of Mother Yashoda. So in this way we can understand the glories of the Pandavas are so high, even more high. We, have come, we are coming in progressive stages, like one stage, one step after another. We are going higher and higher and higher and higher. And in this way we can actually understand the glories of bhakti. Hare Krishna, Vanshar Krishna. Unga Gyana Timidan, Sagananjana Salakaya, Chapchurun Militangjena, Tasma Isri, Gurabi, Namaha. Sila Guru Dev ordered me to glorify Pandavas. So, which you have heard from Gurudev as before, I try to remember other pastimes, which was not narrated by Sri Padaranna Maharaj or Sri Krishna Prabhu. 
You know, according to Vedic religion, no lady will be touched, especially the chest will not be touched by other male person. Then the chest will go away. When Draupadi was going to about disrupt by Dushasan, he looked towards Grandfather Vishma, Guru Dronacharya, Father in law, blind, Dhritarashtra, and her husbands. No one came to help her. At last, what she did? He Govinda Raka Saranabhuta Ujivanahari. Oh Govinda, now I am taking your complete shelter. Raise her hand. Then what happened? Sari Khejit Hara Dushasan Sari Bada Esam. Dushasan has had 10,000 elephant's powers in his arms. He became tired, but there is no end of garments. Who was those garments? Krishna embraced Draupadi Devi in form of garment. There is no other than Krishna. By this way, Krishna protect Draupadi Sinus in front of everyone in that meeting, in that council. So how Krishna loves Draupadi? Moreover, when Mahabharata battle was going to start, then Krishna went to Durjadhan for compromise. Draupadi Devi told, Oh my God, if you are going for compromise, this must be happened. Because you can make impossible to possible. So how I can keep my promise? And Krishna always keep his devotee's promise. Krishna told, Oh my dear Sakhi, don't worry. <coughs> Your desire will be fulfilled. So Durjadhan Sila Jeevakasai Father explained his Bhakti Sandarva. When Krishna is coming, both sides of road, Durjadhan arranged for sacrifice for Krishna. They are doing fire sacrifice on Krishna and Amma, Krishna and Amma, fire sacrifice going on. And when Krishna went there, Durjadhan told, No datapam, no datapam, no datapam suchakre medini yatha. What to tell about, about five village? Krishna told, if you can fight, donate five village to them, then you will be compromised, they will not fight. Duryodhana told, what to say about five village? I never give the tip of every needle of earth. What to say about five village? Then it bound to be Mahabharata battle. By this way, Krishna keep Draupadi's promise. Duryodhana thought, I can control Krishna by it, it, uh, feeding something. They brought so many things. Krishna told, I am not hungry at all. In three places you can take. If you are too much hungry, you are about to die, then you can eat. Krishna told, I am Atmaram and Aptakam. So I have no appetite, no thirst, so I could not take. Second one, if you go for any hair for some purpose, if your purpose will be served, then you can take something there. Krishna told, I came for compromise, so my purpose has not served yet. So how I can take? It is not possible. Moreover, your purpose has served or not, you atmaram aptakam or not, but you have loved each other, then you can take. The, the, Duryodhan, Krishna told to Duryodhan, we have no love each other. So how I can take? So in three causes, I could not eat anything here. So Krishna came back with barren hand, and Mahabharata battle start, and Draupadi's desire fulfilled by Krishna. Moreover, when the, the Mahabharata battle going to start, Krishna was sleeping according to Vedic religion. Whoever come first to you to approach, to join in your group, you must have to go there. Maybe your near and dear Keith and Keith going to fight against him, but you have to take his side. So Krishna was sleeping. Duryodhan came and he took seat on the floor and the head side of Krishna. Krishna was not sleeping. He was waiting when Arjuna will come. Duryodhan thought, Krishna is like my in-law. My daughter married Krishna's son. How I can sit towards his feet? This press is humble for me. So he took seat behind his head. And Arjuna came later to Duryodhan. 
he took seat in the lotus feet of Krishna. And this is general rule. When you walk up, then you can see towards your feet, not backside. So seeing Arjun, Krishna told, oh Arjun, Krishna embrace Arjun. Why you came here? Then Dujan told, oh Krishna, I also in queue, but before Arjun, not after Arjun. So please look towards me. Oh, he embraced Arjun. Are for Duryodhan? Oh, that's enough. <laughs> How I can help you? Oh, I came to invite you for Mahabharata battle. Oh, really? Well, yes. This is all okay. Listen, I have one condition. In one side, my four types of armies are there, and they will be all weaponed <coughs> up to date. And other hand, I will be there, but I will not fight on behalf of anyone. I will be without weapon. If you take me up to Mordhavari, you have to feed me, have notice me. Duryodhan thought, for fighting army is needed. What shall I do taking Krishna? Because I have to feed him? I don't like. So he told, oh Krishna, I like your armies. So, please grant your armies with all weapons. Krishna told, so it be. Duryodhan went away, then Arjun told, Oh Krishna, today you saved my life. If you be in their side, then I can give up my life in front of you. So you have saved my life. So this way, how Krishna controlled by Arjun or Pandavas, this is one another instance. When Mahabharata battle was going on, then son of Krishna, son of Arjun, who trained by Krishna, Abhimanyu, he was fighting against all Kauravas. At that time, Arjun was not there. And Bhishma Pitam and others, they arranged such a way, none can go to the end of that other point of armies. So they are fighting so badly. Arjun was not there, Krishna was not there. So how we can enter there? Then Abhimanyu told, I can enter in that Chakra Buha. But I don't know how to come out. When I was in my mother's room, my father was explaining about this chakra buha. So I can enter, but I don't know how to come out. Come out. Bhim told, don't worry. You can enter, and by club I can finish others. So by this way we can win the battle of today. So we want to enter. According to Vedic rule, you can fight one by one. Not so many against one. But for Abhimanyu, Bhishma Pitamaha, Drona, Karna, Salla, Kripa, Jadrat, seven Maharati attack together to kill Abhimanyu. When Abhimanyu killed, the Arjun came and he became so ori and lament so much and told, unless until I not kill Jayadrat, before sunset, I shall kill by myself. So, what to do? Then he is fighting so much but could not kill Jayadra. Then they arrange one big fire to enter Arjun there. And Duryodhan told to Jayadra, Oh my dear friend, oh my dear friend, please come in front. Why? Look, your enemy is going to die. So we are very easy to win the battle. Please come, this is the best day in your life. So he came in front. And Arjun want to do Parikrama and want to enter the fire. Krishna told, you are big, you are strong personality. Why you give up your Gandhi bow and arrow? Please take both of them and you can enter with your all weapons. Yes, Arjun was doing Parikrama, a judge came in front of him. Then Krishna by his disc, he covered the sun as before. Now he removed the chakra. Chakra. <coughs> Sudarshan chakra. Then Arjun told, Krishna told, Oh Arjun, what you are doing? Your enemy is front of you. Now take your bow and arrow and kill him. Dujan told, Adharma, Adharma, irreligion. <laughs> then Arjun, Krishna told, Oh, when you kill Abhimanyu with seven Maharatis, that was religion. Now sun is not set yet. The battle not finished yet today. Arjun, don't delay, don't delay. Arjun took his bow and arrow 
and finish your drug. How is the control by them? And moreover, Jagrath has one benediction. Unless until his father will not give up his head by his own hand, he will not kill, he will not die. And who will take off his head? His head will be crushed. So Krishna told, don't put his head by your own arrow on the earth, then your head will be crushed. So in this time, his father is doing worship of sun, sun god. So put on his hand. So his father was doing Om Surjaya Namaha, Om Surjaya Namaha. And he, Arjun put his head on the head, hand of his palm of his father. He was closing eyes. Then he went, Surjaya Namaha, Surjaya Namaha. And he put down. What happened? Why so heavy? I am doing my water. How will it become so heavy? Then he saw, oh my God, this is my, the head of my son. Only if I give up my own hand, then he will die. Then he began to lament, nothing to do. How Krishna controlled by Pandavas? This is another example. There are so many examples in Mahabharata Bhattu how Krishna took side of Pandavas. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna.